A game of Monopoly can take longer than learning the genitive, and it's all about possessions too. And we'll even play Monopoly a bit later on. Again, the best way to learn the genitive is to embed it firmly in your personal life and to use it in your specific circumstances. Here are a few playful tips on how to do that. Monopoly. I promised we'd play it, didn't I? And I'm sure you all know how to play it. But how do you include the genitive case? Well, we'll show you how to practice both the dative and the genitive cases by playing Monopoly. First, the dative. Every time you acquire a house or a hotel, no matter which edition you're using, you have to state in German who you're giving the house to. You're a very generous woman or man. So you say, for example, Ich gebe das Haus, das Hotel, meiner Mutter. That way you repeat the dative. Your opponent now has to state whose house it therefore now is by using the genitive, as in, Das ist jetzt das Haus deiner Mutter. If you don't get your dative sentence right, you pay double the price for the house or hotel. If your opponent doesn't get his or her genitive sentence right, you get the house or hotel for free. And you only have 10 seconds each to get your sentences right. The pressure is on. I'm sure you'll be able to agree about mistakes by looking up the forms in the pod basket table or your German book. The gender of the noun is important, of course. And by the way, a really good way of playing Monopoly is, of course, to get a German edition. Generally speaking, you're now at a stage where you can play proper games in German, and what a great way to learn that is. So here's a website to start you off, or just do a Google search yourself. Ausgeliehen. Lent and borrowed. Did you know that to lend and to borrow is both the same word in German? Yes, and it's Lion or Ausleihen, and its past participle is the title of this next activity. Everybody borrows stuff from other people occasionally, and rather often things get lost or come back so late that you might not even remember them anymore. We want to suggest an easy way to keep track of what you lend or borrow, and learn German at the same time. Next time you borrow or lend something, take a post-it sticker and mark the item in German. Das ist Peters Buch. Das ist die CD meines Bruders, etc. You'll never forget to return things again. And you might get your own things back. Even if the person you're lending something to doesn't speak German, they'll still see your name on it and will hopefully be reminded to give it back to you eventually. And you can show off your sophisticated foreign language skills. Family reunion. Next time you get together with your family, you can present yourself with a little challenge. Get every member of your family to put a few personal items into a basket or box without you looking on. Empty the container and now try to allocate the items to members of your family, using, of course, the German genitive. Das ist der Ring meiner Schwester. Das ist das Notizbuch meines Vaters. Apart from having fun, your family will watch with great amusement, I'm sure, you'll acquire some useful vocabulary and reacquaint yourself with the idiosyncrasies of your family at the same time.